most important thing about the automatic swing trainer is to understand the single pivot hinge. So if everyone will just do this naturally, just hinge up. That's the most important move there is with this swing trainer. And we do it slowly. Just learn to hinge up. What I teach in golf is that if you can go right shoulder, center, left shoulder, you've got a golf swing. Right shoulder, center, left shoulder. The only thing that we've got to add to this is a rotation, right shoulder, rotation to left shoulder. Now we're going to run through a set of exercises that will help you learn the hinge up method. First thing I want you to do is just take the automatic swing trainer in your left hand. Just slowly hinge it up. We're working it with our shoulder. We're not bending it at the elbow. We're working it with the shoulder. I like to do this 30 times. Now, if you're a beginner and you only want to go 10 times, that's fine. We're just going to hinge it up, hinge it up. I know this looks pretty effortless and pretty stupid, but trust me, this is going to teach you how the wrist works naturally in the golf swing. So after we've hinged it up this way a little bit, we can take it in the right hand. And I don't need to hold my right hand down where the right hand goes. I can hold it up and just kind of match the V of the grip. And I'm going to hinge it up with the right, but I'm going to let it hinge in the right elbow this time. And I can do this 30 times if I'd like. If I'm a beginner and I can only go 10, that's fine. And when you get this down to where you can really do it, you can hinge up. You can also throw in some fly fishing where you're just working the wrist and the forearm. You got to strengthen that wrist and that forearm. But the right arm just hinges at the elbow, acts as a piston. Now we're going to take our grip on the golf club. The most important thing of a good golf swing is a good grip. My good friend Nick Bradley says a, a great golf grip lets good things happen in the golf swing. So what we're going to try to do now is to create symmetry. What happens on this side of the golf swing has to happen on that side of the golf swing. And that's what the automatic swing trainer really brings out in a person's golf swing. So we've been learning how to hinge up. Now we're just going to take it to the back swing position and we're going to just hinge it up. And again, we can go 30 times. If you're a beginner, you can go 10. But we're just learning how to set and raise the triangle. The triangle is my shoulders and my arms. I'm just rotating back and I'm setting the triangle, learning how to let it drop through the black hole of golf. Now you notice my left shoulder isn't rotating out just yet because the hands have got to learn to drop down to about waist high before I can rotate and go to the follow through position. Now over here I can go 30 times again and you notice I've got my weight in my follow through position, the weight's on the outside of my left heel. If you are a beginner, 10 times is great. Again, all I'm doing is learning how to hinge up. When you get through doing that, I like to mirror my right hand being on the golf club. So I'm going to take it just back with just my left hand. And I'm going to just do some with just my left hand. And I'm letting the right hand just go along the side of my left hand as if I was holding on to the club. And again, I can do 30 or I can do 10, whatever you can do. Now you're trying to keep your left arm straight. 
You can go over to the other side. Still let that right hand just mirror it. It's a great workout for the left side. I want to do 30 on this side or 10 if I'm a beginner. By now you're understanding the feel of the single hinge. All right, now you've learned how to hinge up with the single pivot hinge on the automatic swing trainer. Now it's time for us to learn how to use the slide bar and the automatic swing trainer. So what we're going to do is we're going to get in an athletic position. It's just like we're jumping. My shoulders are over my knees. I don't want to be bent forward too much because it's going to put the weight on the balls of my feet. I want the weight to be distributed between the balls of my feet and my heels. So I get my athletic position, I'm in balance, and I'm going to, with my knees and my hips, slide the bar to the right and then to the left. So I'm just gonna get the feel of this. While you're doing this, if you're an avid golfer, you might get the feel that you're actually hitting a chip and run pitch shot or maybe even a putting stroke but you get the way the feel of the automatic swing trainer sliding on the bar now that I've got that feel I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna start making a golf swing see how simple that was I'm just gonna slide it back and then I hinge it up and I only have to go to nine o'clock we're only gonna go to nine o'clock to three o'clock for right now to get a feel for nine o'clock address position is impact position where I start out of my swing I'm trying to tell the old computer up here I just want to bring the triangle in my hands back through the position that I started at so address is impact I've got the top shaft directly over the bottom shaft at address and at impact that's probably the best teaching part of the automatic swing trainer is you can get back to where you started and create the symmetry so what happens over here happens over here so let's just make a few swings of going nine o'clock I'm doing this slow motion back to address impact and to three o'clock I want to feel my weight shift to the right side, back to impact. My weight goes to the left side as I'm hinging up to three o'clock. We'll do that a couple of more times. Remember, slow motion. If you're left-handed and thinking about the automatic swing trainer, all you've got to do is think the opposite of everything I've been saying for the right-hander. The automatic swing trainer has a grip that will work for the left-hander. You just do the exercises the opposite of what I'm saying for the right-hander. So now a good drill to find our center of gravity, the COG, is similar to the invisible chair drill. We want to get down as low as we can, get back on the swing trainer, and we want to put our feet pretty close together, and you can already feel it. And we're just going to real slowly go 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock, and watch my knees work. I'm going left knee to the ball, and I'm going right knee to the target, and I've got to stay down low. Feel it in your hamstrings. You can do as many of these as you can. Don't want you to get injured by doing this one, but you can feel it in your thighs. And you can feel how much control of the rotation of the golf swing your legs have. 
So another feature of the automatic swing trainer, there are two holes in the slide bar. I'm gonna pin it on the forward side so that all it can do is slide back and come back to address impact. What I'm working on with this is I really want to emphasize getting back to where I started. This top shaft directly over the bottom shaft and at this point I have to roll the club over. This is a very good drill if you're having problems slicing the ball, usually the reason you're slicing the ball is your hands are coming through like this. With the hands leading the club head, you know the ball is going to go to the right. So the automatic swing trainer, we want the butt of the club to come back to the belly and then let it just roll over naturally. And that'll help you create a draw or hit it straight if you've been having trouble with the slice. Another feature to the automatic swing trainer is if I pin it on the other side, I can actually pin the slide bar so that it's stationary there. This is real good for people that like to really rotate and stay dead center right over their swing. So your left side has to take the club back and I'm going to be able to do the exact same things. Address is impact, but I really have to be able to rotate, come back and rotate. You've got to stay right over the ball. You almost want to even have a little extra weight on your front foot for this. So I would say we, we go 60% of the weight on the left foot so that we can just rotate it back and right back to impact and through. Again, we're gonna swing this slow motion. Now I'm gonna pull the two pins out of there. I really like the slide bar because I'm not as young as I used to be and I need to feel the fluid action of the automatic swing trainer. When you get to be as old as I am, you really have to rely on the leg work of the golf swing. I cannot keep my lower body dead and just rely on upper body strength like I could when I was younger. I have to let my left knee go to the ball and I have to really concentrate on my right knee going to the target.